But this is a trial of a, of a drug called patritumab, patritumab derextecan, also known as HER3-DXD, which is a HER3 antibody drug conjugate. And the trial was specifically in patients with EGFR mutant lung cancer who had developed resistance to prior EGFR TKIs. And the rationale for the trial is that many, uh, uh, if not all, EGFR mutant cancers also co-express HER3, but HER3 is not a known resistance mechanism to EGFR inhibitors. And so by targeting HER3, you could have a novel approach to treating these cancers that's agnostic to how they became resistant to prior therapies. And in this trial, which is a phase one trial followed by an extension cohort, uh, we treated uh, patients who had developed resistance to EGFR TKIs and in many cases, chemotherapy as well. And so a confirmed response rate of 39% and a PFS of 8.2 months. Uh, and as predicted from the mechanism, we saw activity in patients with known resistance mechanisms, such as secondary EGFR mutations, or those with bypass signal pathway activation, and also in patients that did not have a known resistance mechanism, and suggesting that this may be a mechanism agnostic strategy uh, to treat patients that have developed resistance to uh, uh, EGFR inhibitors. So this trial, this is the uh, first expansion cohort in this trial. There's a second expansion cohort, uh, uh, which is completed enrollment also in EGFR mutant patients. There is a uh, phase two trial uh, now uh, on ongoing as a single agent for patients uh, that have been treated with prior osimertinib and chemotherapy, EGFR mutant patients. And there's also a phase one trial ongoing for EGFR mutant patients combining osimertinib with her 3DXD in patients that have been treated with just prior osimertinib.